Welcome Scorpio, we're doing your July 2024 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, love your support. And if you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel, show the love, hit that like button and the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign reading is up on my channel. There is a competition running again this month. You can go into the draw to win a one hour personal reading with me. They are pre-recorded so that I can meditate on your energy, check your Akashic record, your past life information, answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle. Super easy to enter. All you've got to do is pop a comment down below. Let me know you want to go into the prize draw for July. And I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and announcing it on my channel. Now, my personal readings are open. If you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time, do reach out. Booking link is on here and down below. Let's dive in. So pulling you a central energy from the journey of love. Oracle, let's see what you need to know, Scorpio. Oh, you pulled sacred convergence. There's a lot of angels and spirit guides there. Can also represent humanity. Let's pull you up the guidance. Number 28 also represents justice. It says Scorpio. There is a coming together happening within your body and soul, a unification of all that is within you. It is akin to traveling to a strange land. As all sorts of new sensations, not all welcome at first, begin to make themselves known to you. And if you're experiencing discomfort within your own body or uncertainty and a sense of expansion to include more of life in your thoughts and feelings, then you're conscious of this sacred convergence like two worlds colliding. If you're sensitive, you will feel it happening as an important event without necessarily having a physical situation to attribute the experience to. You may also be encountering this in a very physical sense by finding yourself in situations you would have previously avoided. You may be meeting people and thrown into relationship with them, apparently more by circumstance than by your own conscious choosing and it's a meeting of you with your shadow and something to rejoice in even if it feels uncomfortable at times. Be gentle and loving with yourself and kindly seek to find the beauty in what you're experiencing and learning about yourself in these interactions. You are a wise soul seeking to know yourself rather than to judge others. Remember your divine perfection as you're thrilled and challenged at this time of great growth. You're guided to be curious as though traveling to a foreign land and remaining open to the experiencing of its treasures. And this oracle brings a message to you that a deeper part of yourself is calling you forward. Any discontent, struggle, anxiety, or fear is a subconscious recognition of this. So don't worry. You are in a unique plant in a divine garden. You don't have to know what plant you are in order to grow. You just need to live each day and the growth happens naturally. Then you can see over time the beauty of your true nature revealing itself to you. It will be a revelation to be relished. So possibly some of you have been in hermit mode. Uh, it's calling for you to have more connection with others, possibly people and groups and things that you would have avoided before, which is it kind of feels like you're in this place, Scorpio, where your boundaries are strong enough to remain authentic to self and to stand up in situations that previously you might have felt a little bit sensitive and vulnerable in, uh, but it's teaching you more about yourself. I think you're going to give yourself a big pat on the back for how strong you are. There's a poem here. It says, From the white foam on the surface of blue to the mystery beneath the waves, wherever your travels may lead, may the artist touch inspire us to explore the ocean realm and celebrate its beauty as land gives way to water water to the unknown so a big message there to be open to new experiences and possibilities all right we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the uh, sacred destiny oracle for july oh spirit's calling for you to have courage at this time 
Uh, there's quite, <laughs> the waves are quite rough there, so possibly a challenge coming. Oh, you are going to get some enlightenment, some aha moments. It'll be different for each of you, particularly if there's a choice you need to make or something you've been pondering. Mm, here it is, exactly what I said. Spirit's asking you to be open to the new. Mm -hmm. Particularly opportunities. And there's a need for you to have patience with yourself, with the timing of things. Might not be happening as fast as what you want it to. All right, let's have a look at some spiritual guidance for you. Oh, you've got beloved Zeus, the lovers, a cosmic union destined for greatness. Oh, Scorpio, you're a notice. This love connection's been coming out for you for the last, this is now your third reading, this love connection's come out. It's directly related to having courage to opening up to this love connection. Hello. Soulmate twin flame. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> it is. Any guidance for Scorpio, please? I'm so thinking about it. You pull the oracle. So, some of you could be using and reading your own oracle cards. I mean, we're doing it now in terms of giving you spiritual guidance, psychic insights. Keep doing it if you are. Very helpful. Oh, there's a message showing through and I just have to share it. Those of you that are doing your own oracle or you want to, don't be fearful of what other people think. Because some of you are going, oh, I really enjoy it, but I'm quite, you know, so the word frightened came up about what other people think about you. Don't, right? Often what happens is when you do these kind of practices, people get super curious and they want you to do readings for them, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Opens up a big conversation. You pulled the Lapis Lazuli star, which is all about your inner vision guiding your path. Your third eye chakra, your intuition's totally lit up then. Mm. And you pulled the storyteller, which is you being the narrator of your own life. You're in charge of the direction your life goes in, the choices you make. All right, it's please and clarifies with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at courage. Open me up to this beautiful cosmic union. Oh, hello. Spirit's saying you've got to open up your heart, darlings. Trust your heart. There's a beautiful connection here. Oh, yeah. Some of you definitely ready. You've got woman holding a heart here. Definitely ready for love. Oh, and Spirit's watching over you in this connection. It's a divine connection. All right, let's have a look at enlightenment. Okay, some of you are going to get enlightenment about your coin. You've got a woman holding a coin here. So how to improve your financial situation, possibly make more money. Not going to be gender biased there, guys. Just read the energies as they're coming out. Uh, there's a big need for you to be in your highest state of consciousness, your crown chakra. It's totally tapped into you being open to love and getting really clear about how you can improve your situation around your money. So that positive expectation. Oh, darling, she got the sun coming out, this beautiful shift in renewed hope, optimism, your plans working out perfectly, blessings, being blessed. Let's have a look at you being open to new experiences. Some of you reading your own oracle, trusting your psychic insights. Okay. Anytime you're feeling tied up and stuck, Spirit's saying step back and seek some guidance, some spiritual guidance. So whether it is you sitting out in nature and talking to your angels, your spirit guides, obviously not out loud, darlings, because people will think you're a little cuckoo, right? You can do it internally and sit there in quiet, contemplative meditation. Some of you definitely seeking answers through the oracle and the tarot. And the tarot. Uh, it's about moving you from stuck state. So when we're in a stuck state, we're generally out of balance within self. So there's an you to bring yourself into balance. And you've got the thinking man. So guys, being very balanced and rational, this can represent a physical person to you. Mm, thinking man, thinking woman, both genders being very practical. 
Practical rational balance. Let's have a look at you feeling tied up and stuck. Hmm. You got this beautiful happy family around you, so a lot of support. And you got man holding a coin, both genders here. Woman holding a coin, man holding a coin. So it's a very strong masculine. Both it's actually equally balanced. The masculine and feminine energies are equally balanced here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at your inner vision guiding your path. Okay, Spirit's saying that you have the world at your feet. You can do anything you want, Scorpio. You're limitless. And yet some of you are in a state of lack or feeling a state of lack, worrying about lack. Hmm, yeah come out with financial constraints as well as the root chakra so possibly there's things that you want to do and you feel like you're constrained at this time by your financial situation any guidance on that oh spirit's saying you've just got to rely on your strength keep moving forward uh-huh any other guidance there yeah you're absolutely holding yourself back so when we hold ourselves back how can we take action? Because the action equals effort. Effort equals reward. Remember that. So if you're holding yourself stuck doing nothing, going, woe is me, I don't have the money to do what I want. There's always things you can do to get you on your path, taking action, moving forward that cost nothing, darling. What do I mean? Well, if your passion is to write a book, start writing it. It doesn't cost you anything except your time, right? Uh, there's all sorts of things that you can do to get on the path you want to get on. When you hold yourself stuck, there's no action, is there? There's no forward momentum. So how can you improve your finances if you're holding yourself stuck? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at you. Have some patience. <laughs> mm. You've got your solar plexus chakra here. Some of you may be feeling like you've got a bit of a dip in energy, so you need to boost your energy up. Some of you possibly working on your health and well-being, and Spirit's saying it might take a little bit longer than you think it will. Okay, you've got some hostilities here. So that's either you feeling hostile towards someone, most likely more to the case, someone feeling hostile towards you or being hostile. Mm. And you've got blossoming abundance. So you are seeing signs of abundance. Let's have a look at these hostilities. Mm. You've got the door to money opening. So I don't know if you've got someone naysaying you, saying it should have happened by now, right? Your door to your money is going to open. So perhaps someone putting pressure on you around money. All right, let's have a look at you being the narrator in your own life. Oh, Spirit's saying there are things you need to walk away from that are no longer serving you, my loves. Yeah, when you do that, your door to personal healing and happiness is going to open. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's this beautiful care and connection. Have a look at that love there. So sometimes we have to cleanse our inner circle, the people we allow into our energy, particularly that kind of energy, right? Uh, if it's somebody that won't quit being negative around you or towards you, then why are you giving them access to your energy? Doesn't matter who it is. Why? All right, let's put you some guidance from the goddess guidance deck. Let's have a look at you having courage to open up to this beautiful love. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spirit's saying doing creative things. Music, art will be really good for you at this time. You may connect with this person through the arts. Oh, you've absolutely got abundance coming in, prosperity. Directly related to your creative side. May come in as a shock. Yeah, Spirit's saying it's the perfect time to kick off your ideas and your projects, whatever you think or thinking of right now. It is going to create the abundance that you want. It's going to take a bit of work, darlings, as well. Let's have a look at you getting enlightenment about your coin. Mm -hmm. Being in your higher states of consciousness. Spirit's saying there is going to be a shift. Yeah, you've just got to trust yourself and trust your wisdom, right? Don't second-guess yourself. 
Mostly what's shining through is you need to believe in yourself more. You've got Mawu Mother Earth here. Some of you may be passionate about doing causes related to protecting Mother Earth, Mother Nature, animals. For others, you regularly need to get outside in nature and put those feet on Mother Earth and ground yourself. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a really good stress bust for you. Oh, my God. Oh, I just have to hold on to my heart. Are you ready? Scorpio, are you ready? All you little naysaying Scorpios. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Just know your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. Some of you have been working really hard, darlings, and you're like, oh, I'm not there yet, I'm not there yet. Where's my abundance? Where's my love? It's all coming, right? <laughs> Just have that faith and positivity. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at you being open to new experiences and possibilities, watching out you don't hold yourself stuck and be very practical. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got Sedna Infinite Supply. Universe is saying your material needs, your emotional needs are going to be met for today and all of your tomorrows. So drop the worry. And you are the magician in your own life, right? It's up to you what you create. One step after the other, Scorpio. Yeah, some of you need to do a cleanse. You've got purification here. It could be the physical body, what you're consuming, doing a bit of a health kick doing a bit more exercise, getting out in fresh air. Some of you, it's your negative thought patterns going on. Mm. So watching yourself talk. How do we overcome that? We've got to be consciously aware every time we get stuck in a state of anxiety, worry, or holding ourselves stuck. Pull yourself up and say, pack it up, right? You're better than that. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, I can highly recommend the InnerTune app. It's a free app you can download on your mobile phone for positive affirmations anytime you're dipping a bit. Just tap on it and play a playlist of affirmations. You can create your own playlists on there. Very soothing, playing for a minute, five minutes, even longer now. You can get longer access on the free version. I'll put that link on here and down below. A lot of it is about doing your mindfulness practices and pulling yourself up when you're dipping into negative states, doing self-care. Let's have a look at this side where all your doors are going to open when you walk away from things that don't serve you particularly holding yourself stuck. Okay, so we're saying that the independent side of you is a beautiful aspect of you, very strong, regularly need to take your quiet time out, even if you're in a love connection. And Spirit saying you need to treat yourself and others with kindness and compassion. Kind of interesting, we've got this hostile energy here. <laughs> oh. Mm, a lot here about, I think mostly it's about yourself you need to be compassionate with, really watching your energy levels and your emotions. Oh, my God, on the bottom of the deck you've got compassion. I don't know if this is someone that has is in family and could be older that it's too old for them. They're too old to change, right? That's how they regularly show up in the world. Um, I'm not sure if they have some emotional or mental issues going on as well that they're unhealed i'm going to say unhealed that could be channeling through if that's the case then often what's being projected if it's particularly if it's with the brain or something like that then they often can't help the way they're showing up there are some instances of that um so you have to be mindful of that so how, what do we do in those circumstances well we got to kind of got to protect our energy right definitely and we've got to recognise that that's possibly what's playing out with someone. Try and limit your contact as much as you possibly can, particularly if you're emotionally sensitive as well. That is just channeling through for some of you. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Hmm. Big message, darling. You have to ground your energy regularly. Yep. Well, you've got need and necessity. So when it comes to your coin, Spirit's saying don't focus on and putting put yourself under pressure for big ticket items. Just focus on what do I need on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis to pay my bills and my expenses and focus on that. Be frugal, darlings. Yes. Do a budget. Because we can place an enormous amount of pressure on things that aren't in our life right now. Well, do you actually need them right now? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Spirit's saying, love that you're different. So very much appreciating how unique you are. Oh, okay. Spirit's saying about this energy, be vigilant, darlings. It's not a great energy. Not a great energy. Okay, any guidance there? Oh, they're asking you to stay in your feminine energy, so not allowing this person to upset your beautiful energy. My old girl. And it's a time to reflect. Now, in the context of what's in your reading on this side, Scorpio, you need to reflect what you need to walk away from and be honest with yourself about that. On the bottom of the deck, let go of the old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's pull some guidance from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Oh, you are juggling a lot and working really hard. It's directly related to your ideas and your projects. Mm, you have the two of fire. There is the opportunity to partner up with others on shared goal and vision when it comes to improving your money flows. And you regularly need to take some time out to rest. She's in meditative pose. You've got to switch all the technology off. Really get away from the busyness of life, Scorpio. Find some quiet time. Oh, hello. Are you ready? This is exactly what I said to you. You've got the six of earth. What you put out is going to come back to you in kind, right? So there's going to be an influx of money that's going to help you. It's not going to be massive, but it's going to help you pay some bills off, right? Pay some debts off. But it's an equal give and take. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, Nature's Whispers Oracle. <laughs> Hello, Spirit saying pause, darling. So in all this busyness, you need to get some clarity about your money flows and what's working well or what's not working well. Take some time to pause and reflect on that. Because there's a lot here about you kicking off new things or trying to improve your money flows. I think you need to be really practical about that. Mm, and a need for you to amplify your positive emotions. And this is the inner child. So, uh, you know, we've already <laughs> talked about how to do that. And be your best self always. This person, if they're trying to trigger you, Spirit's saying, don't be triggered, darlings. Show up as your best self. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. Physical, your energy is coming out quite strongly here, the physical body. Oh, Spirit saying music would be really good for you. Very soothing. Playing music, dancing, sound therapy. Oh, your third eye chakra is coming out. What's that? Second, third time coming out? You've really got to trust yourself. Some of you may need to clear the third eye chakra. Might be a bit of a blockage going on. Oh, Spirit saying journaling will help. And journaling will help you get clarity that you seek, particularly about your money flows and what you need to walk away from. All right, let's have a look at your spiritual guidance in terms of who you connect to in the spirit realm, divine gifts and talents. You've got the white feather. It's really saying you need to keep things simple, Scorpio. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't make things bigger than Ben-Hur because otherwise you won't get started, right? Mm-hmm. Focus on what is my next step and take that step. Oh, you've got the horse, so you need to step into your personal power, your empowerment. Don't allow others to tell you what to do. You take the reins of your own life. That's now come through two or three times. Just don't forget you've also got the narrator. Mm -hmm. And your angels are absolutely watching over you at this time. Sending you their protection. All right, let's have a look at your life path guidance. Oh, you crave your freedom. So some of you want to create more freedom in your life, particularly when it comes to how you earn your money, your career. Oh, you've got performing arts, dance, music. Some of you are very creative. And your voice and your message is your gift. So whether it's a written or spoken word, confirmation of that. Let's pull you a message from your angels. Well, you've got to imagine. 
So it's clearly visualize the life you want. Feel it in your heart and soul and so it will come to be. Well, that's kind of beautiful. What do you want your life to look like, darlings? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to pull your crowning energy from the Divine Circus Oracle. Beautiful deck by Lana Fairchild. What is it Scorpio needs to know at this time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. It would be one of the most important messages that you will hear. Well, number one, which is all about new beginnings. What is meant for you? Uh, yeah, everything coming towards you that is absolutely meant for your journey. Let's pull you out the guidance. It's one of the most powerful messages in this deck. You ready? It says, Scorpio, you voiced your intent setting in motion a natural creative process and what you want has been summoned forth and is now headed your way. Don't hesitate, refuse to receive or pass this gift on to another. It's meant for you. Grab it. Within this new opportunity is exactly what you've been waiting for, what you've been wanting to create, what truly makes your heart sing. And what is rightfully yours or very soon will be right in front of you is caught up in a spiraling wave of new beginnings. It's time to reach out and grab what is headed your way. Opportunity is a universe believing in you. Return the compliment by accepting what is being offered with open arms and a trusting heart. You'll be glad you did. And don't worry if this opportunity seems to be leading you down a different path to what you expected. All paths lead us to where we need to be. Sometimes the universe has a better idea of what will get us to our destination at the perfect time along the pathway that will be of most benefit to all. Trust what is happening. Accept that you deserve good things to happen to you and don't be shy. Now is your time to step up, to open your mouth and your arms and say, thank you, I accept. Oh, it's not amazing coming your way. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's an affirmation here. It says, to everything is, that is in my heart and all that can help me manifest my destiny with the greatest joy, I say yes, yes, yes. It does ask you to open your arms up to the universe and give it a wink. Mm -hmm. It says the universe believes in me. I believe in me. I create, accept and enjoy opportunities that enliven my spirit and make my heart sing. Oh, you're on notice, Scorpio. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Don't forget to enter the competition. Do reach out for a personal reading if you do need extra guidance at this time. Booking links on here and down below. And uh, go and check out the inspirational ebooks masterclasses. I now put some of the ebooks together with the audio of the masterclass as a little package. Uh, they're all about personal development, transformation, working through stuck states. You want to go and check those out. Some of them are the price of a cup of coffee, darling. Yes, not very much at all. Go and invest in yourself. All right, for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.